sorry it's been a couple of years since I posted anything. I'm not going to continue on that. But I rem if you remember, in a couple of my videos, and I can't tell you which ones, I mentioned I had a surprise for you down the road. Um, it's kind of cluttered right now. You're not going to see it really well. I got started on it, and I remembered I wanted to do a video for you. So I'm going to spin the camera around. And I'm going to take a picture of the unit as it sits in my garage. Um, like I said, and I'll mention it again, I'm sure, disregard all the clutter. But it's been in here for two years now just to save it from sitting outside. Unfortunately, some pieces are sitting outside. So I'm going to get started on it. It's not going to be a hurry rush thing. But uh, it's probably going to be quite a while before this gets done. But... Once again, I'm blabbing too much. I've missed you guys. I appreciate the likes and subscribes. I'm going to get back to it some, and we'll see what happens. But I want to try to um, track the progress on this unit um, as I move along. So I'll shut up, spin the camera on, and we'll take some video here of exactly what I'm talking about for the next project. Okay. Here we have it. Um, what's left of it or what's in the garage anyway the chassis um, this is a 1950 Chevrolet 6400 it's got the 235 235 cubic inch straight six it's all six volt system but I'll probably convert to 12 I'm not sure um, here's uh, the front fenders and some pieces parts that I did get in here the front grill um, this was a barn find for me about five years ago um, as of right now you can't see it because it's been in the garage and everything's so dusty but the rear end from the rear of the frame all the way up to right here by the running boards as you can see how it gets rusty this back here has all been wire wheeled, primed, painted, undercoated on the inside and painted. The drive shaft has been done. All the brake pads, shoes I should say, were actually really in good shape. The wheel cylinders were shot, those are replaced. The, uh, these right here are brand new emergency brake cables. Um, those were all shot and rusted off and replaced. Uh, like I said, wheel cylinders were replaced. I turned the drums on my lathe just to dress them up. The shoes were in really good shape. Everything else was in really good shape. Um, the rear end is all done. The springs have been repacked. Um, those are new U-bolts that are holding it on. There was actually none of those leaves were broken. I just had Watertown Spring, the local spring area place here, repack them. Uh, there's new oil on the rear end, all new brake lines up to about midway here. So, we need to go from here forward, work on this. I just pulled the front rims off. I pulled the front hub off the other side and got the wheel off, so the spindle's there. The spindle looks pretty good. I haven't checked the inner bearing yet, but i got to get this peeled off, get the drum peeled off, and get the drum turned just to clean it up. And once again, these shoes are in uh, there's plenty of pad there so these will all get cleaned up I've got new wheel cylinders I'm sure they're set up the rear ones were completely set up and shot the master cylinder was completely shot and the lines were all broken so everything was pretty much rotten inside but um, really it's kind of a positive and a negative for this unit being the barn find that it was um, I found that a lot of the rust on it they had hauled lime, they'd hauled everything with it. It was basically a steak rack, it was a um, grain truck. And they hauled feed, they hauled lime, they hauled everything, but they never really cleaned it much in between. But it sat in a barn and it was a dirt floor. So positive was that it sat in a barn, negative was that it was on a dirt floor. The engine, I did, uh, the fuel lines were shot, the fuel pump was shot, I did buy a new fuel pump and stick it on there, and uh, just used a little plastic uh, jerry jug with uh, a fuel line stuck in it to the pump, 
and fired it up and it runs really good. So I'm not going to mess around and rebuild the engine. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to check the clutch and make sure we don't want to mess with that. We'll do that now while it's easy. Um, and I've got a gasket set. So I'm going to put a, as you can see on the shelf over there, that Felpro box. So I'm going to put a complete gasket set in it because a lot of stuff is leaking. Pretty sure we're going to have to put a new water pump in it. But I haven't looked to see whether these are rebuildable water pumps or not. So once we get that off, I'll take a peek at that. I'm hoping it's not the radiator that's leaking, but we'll have to take a look. I know I filled it up, and when I ran it, water was pouring right out of the water pump. I know that, and then as it sat, after I drained it, as it sat here, it was dripping out of the lower part of it for some reason, and I just don't know where in the front end. I couldn't, I couldn't tell. I didn't have it this cleaned up. But anyway, little by little, we'll get it. I don't know what that core kind of shape it's in. It, I don't know. We'll find out piece by piece little by little so I'm gonna get back at tearing this apart I'm gonna see if I can find a tripod to set you guys up so you can watch and I'll probably fast forward most of the work I'm doing but I think I'll try to concentrate on slower more detailed videos when I put stuff back together not so much tearing it apart but anyway um, this will be probably a several part video so this is just part one but anyway we're working on the front wheel bearings brakes right now to get those squared away and we'll go from there so i'll be back with you hang in there